the incidents were limited to a handful of apartment complex, apartment complexes, and the mayor said our dedicated police officers have acted on those concerns. Do you hear yourself? Only a handful of apartment complexes in America were taken over by Venezuelan gangs, and Donald Trump is the problem and not Kamala Harris's open border. You seem to be more focused with nitpicking everything that Donald Trump has said, rather than acknowledging that apartment complexes in the United States of America are being taken over by violence. Gangs. Let's just end that with they did not invade or take over the city, as Donald Trump said. Uh, I, I want to move on to just a few women. apartment complexes. No big deal. ABC's Martha Raddatz attempted to fact check Donald Trump during her weekend interview with Trump's VP pick J.D. Vance. In reality, she ended up downplaying Venezuelan gangs taking over apartment complexes in Aurora, Colorado. Watch. The Republican mayor of the city said flatly the city and state have not been taken over or invaded or occupied by migrant gangs. So do you support Donald Trump making those claims that the Republican mayor says were grossly exaggerated and have hurt the city's identity and sense of safety. Well, Martha, you just said the mayor said they were exaggerated. Grossly um, that exaggerated. Means there's got to be some, that means there's got to be some element of truth here. And of course, President Trump was actually in Aurora, Colorado, talking to people on the ground. And what we're hearing, of course, Martha, is that people are terrified by what has happened with some of these Venezuelan gangs. Sen Senator and Vance, I'm going to stop you because I know exactly what happened. Martha. I'm going to stop you. The incidents were limited to a hand full of apartment complex apartment complexes and the mayor said our dedicated police officers have acted on those concerns a handful of problems only, Martha, do you hear yourself? Only a handful of apartment complexes in America were taken over by Venezuelan gangs and Donald Trump is the problem and not Kamala Harris's open border. So Trump did say that the gangs had taken over the city, which absolutely is a gross exaggeration. But that is not what was debated initially. Initially, the original debate was about whether or not Venezuelan gangs had taken over apartment complexes. And everyone was gaslit to no end that no, 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 that's not true. That was completely made up. Fast forward to this past weekend. And you have Martha Raddatz say, no, no, it's, it wasn't a big deal. It was limited to a handful of apartment complexes. Okay. So, I, yeah, Anna, that's the frustration, both I'm sides. Gonna, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, by the way, this is the reason why I never apologized for our reporting on this story, because I knew I wasn't wrong. And I knew that eventually the truth would come out, and here we are, the truth came out. Okay, and I kept following the story, by the way. I followed the story when everyone else stopped paying attention to it, and the Aurora Police Department put out a press release about the Venezuelan gang members that they had identified and arrested. And I'll give you the details in just a moment. But do we care about people or not? Because a handful of apartment buildings being taken over by gang members is a big problem. And I love how easily they just dismiss it like it's no big deal. Do yeah. we care about people or not? Do we care about people living in poverty or not? Okay, so let me do the Trump side and then the mainstream media side. So first of all, I mean, we're calling it an exaggeration, but is it really an exaggeration? So if they took over two or three apartment buildings or apartment, you know, uh, apartment units, units, right? Thank you, Anna. Um, that's one thing. If they, but if you say instead of two or three, they took over. Eight or nine, that's an exaggeration. And that's a big exaggeration. Taking over two in a little area, okay, that's something. Taking over nine feels like the whole city, et cetera, right? But he didn't say that. He said they took over the entire city. The city is now run by a Venezuelan gang. Which is ridiculous. So that's not an exaggeration. That's a ridiculous lie. And it's said by a stupid person. Because, but you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Because because no one's gonna believe you that they took over Aurora, Colorado when the Republican mayor of Aurora, Colorado comes out and says, we are entirely untaken over, right? But that's not true. 40% of the country will believe you immediately. If you ask now about 100 million Americans, they'll tell you Venezuela runs Aurora, Colorado. Okay, and that's the problem with Donald Trump being a maniacal liar. Okay, now to the mainstream media side. So now we've gone from 
It's not happening it's at not all. It's not happening at totally all. Totally made up. Totally the, made up. Uh, all of it was totally made up. To now blithely just say, oh, they just took over a couple of apartment complexes. So wait, it is true. They did take over apartment complexes, just like we told you. Okay, now wait, which side are we on? We're on the side of the truth. I know it's a revolutionary idea, right? So when Donald Trump said bloodbath, everybody in mainstream media and Democrats went nuts over it. We showed you the tape on day one and said no. He said economic bloodbath when talking about car companies. He did, look, you know how much I can't stand Donald Trump. I just told you how what a maniac he is a second ago, right? But he didn't say bloodbath in regards to violence. He didn't, okay? But when we tell the truth, we have credibility when we then say, hey, no, they're not eating cats. Haitian immigrants are not eating cats and dogs in Springfield, Ohio. That's nuts, right? But mainstream media has lost all credibility. So now when they say, no, the town of Aurora, Colorado is not taking over, they don't believe them. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. When they gaslight about things that actually do happen, because they're more concerned about how that news is gonna hurt a particular political party, well, then they lose all credibility. And then no one trusts them when they're reporting the truth about something, okay? So yes, Trump definitely lied about gangs taking over the entirety of Aurora, Colorado. That's ridiculous. But it's also true, and now I, apparently everyone agrees, right? Uh, even though we were gaslit about it previously, everyone now agrees that these gang members had taken over uh, just a handful, just a handful of apartments. And by the way, the gaslighting was so insane when there was video evidence of what was going on on the ground there. Yeah, but you know, the don't believe your eyes though. Don't believe your eyes. Don't believe all of the other previous reports before it became a big national story indicating that you know these gang members were a problem in certain parts of Aurora. For, just don't believe any of that because hey, we got an election to worry about. Yeah, whatever phrase you wanna call them, I, I'm sorry that I haven't landed on one because every phrase I propose, everybody goes nuts, right? Online leftists, extreme leftists, whatever you wanna call them. Well, they are in this, they're doing this in some ways the same thing as MAGA is doing, which is you find one piece of evidence and you go, aha, that confirms all my biases, right? So in the cats and dogs story, MAGA had a video of a, a, a woman, a cop saying that a woman ate a cat. And they went, aha, and didn't realize she's not Haitian, she's American. It wasn't Springfield, it was a different town, right? Because they just needed a shred to confirm all the biases, right? Now on the extreme left, you see a video of someone saying, the real problem is the landlord, the landlord's terrible here. The landlords are a problem, by yeah, the way. Yeah, hold on, let yeah, me finish. They are a problem, two okay, things are true. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. So then the extreme left goes, aha. That's actually the landlord and there's no Venezuelan gangs at all. Everybody's fine, no apartments were taken over and we live in Shangri-La. No, both things can be true at the same time. I don't know when it's gonna get through to people's heads. Two things can be true at the same time, okay? So yes, they took over apartment complexes and yes, the landlord sucks. Both things are true just because you saw one video, it doesn't negate the other videos and the other facts. And you just saw your beloved mainstream media confirm it. Now, while everyone else started paying attention to other news, they totally forgot about this. I kept following it, like I said, because I wanted to know what the truth was. And uh, I didn't report on this to update the story because I didn't have a good opening to do it. It was weird to go back to this story. But after everyone was paying attention to other things, the Aurora Police Department puts out uh, the mugshots of the gang members uh, that had been, uh, they, not all of them had been arrested yet. Uh, but at this point, they had identified the individuals and they had ties to Trende Aragua. And I wanna give you uh, some specific details about some of the individuals that you see in these mugshots. So there's Larry Medina, who was arrested on July 10th by Aurora Police in connection with a July 2nd felony menacing at Whispering Pines condominiums. The victim reported to police, uh, Medina pointed a firearm and threatened to kill them. Medina is a documented member of TDA. That's Trenda uh, de Agua. No, Anna, I'm sorry, that didn't happen because the landlord's yeah. a bad guy. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, here's another one. 
Yoendri uh, Vilchez Medina Jose was arrested on August 5th uh, by the Arapaiho uh, County Sheriff's Office on a warrant uh, out of that district court. The warrant stemmed from an assault in November of 2023 at Whispering Pines Condominiums. Medina Jose is a documented member of that same gang. Anyway, you guys could all go and read this for yourselves, but there's the truth, okay? There are exaggerations, and you need to figure out what's really happening. And this idea that we should just be like flippant, like just careless about the notion of apartment complexes being taken over by Venezuelan gangs is disgusting to me. Because either you care about vulnerable people, either you care about protecting people who live in poverty or you don't. And if it's politically inconvenient for you to do so, and so you just decide to pretend like it doesn't exist, well then you don't really have any real values. So okay, let's keep it real. The gangs that were terrorizing those apartment complexes whether they had been taken over in full or partially, wherever you want to land on that, okay? Whatever makes you feel better. Uh, but they were clearly terrorizing uh, the, the people who originally had the apartments, right? Um, luckily, they were billionaires, and so it all worked out. Oh, right, no, they were working class people who are mostly also Venezuelan immigrants. Exactly, and yes. And who, who we need to protect here, we need to protect them. So if you think you're helping immigrants by saying that we shouldn't protect other immigrants, you lost the thread. And put up the mugshot one more time because I want to we just told you the reality of who these guys are. But when Donald Trump and his guys see this mugshot, they see the mayor, the governor, the head of police because they think the town's been taken over by these guys, right? And when the leftists see this picture, they think they don't exist. <laughs> And we're stuck in the middle with you guys. I'm happy to be in the middle with you guys. I just don't like being stuck between two sets of people who refuse to acknowledge reality. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We also love it if you hit the join button below because that makes you a member. And members allow us to be independent, honest. We could be as progressive as we want, no corporate media influence. And that's all because of you guys. We love doing the show with our members. Hit the join button, become one of the Young Turks.